In this video, I just would like to share to you guys about novelty. This is one of the main points that editors and reviewers always point out in your papers. So what is actually the meaning of novelty? Let's check this out. Novelty is always defined as a new knowledge. Well, actually, to define the new knowledge, there are three aspects. So the first aspect is about known, ontology, study of the art. What we are talking about in this aspect is about the new problem and the new context. Most likely, we explain about the gap of phenomena in our research settings, in our disciplines. Okay, so let's say if I'm talking about nursing, what is the nursing problem and what is the nursing research problem for the second aspect is knowing epistemology the study of knowledge so what we want to know here we would like to describe about the gap of literatures what are the existing studies the limitations the gap of knowledge gap of literatures for example let's say if talking about one topic most of the churches, most of the evidence-based, talking about pre-experimental and quasi-experimental study. Of course, you don't want to do the same methods. You do more advanced methods. For example, you do the true experiment, clinical trial, or RCT, for example. So this is the gap of the churches. This is just only one of the examples. There are many examples to talk about the gap of the churches. The third aspect is about nowhere axiology study of value study of actions well, actually in this aspect you just need to explain what are the implications of your study what are the new implications the real implications the benefits of this study for your discipline for your professions science for the knowledge and for the community so you need to be able to explain the three aspects in your papers to represent the novelty so maybe just that's all thank you guys for watching